Uh, Mr. Speaker, first of all, I would like to applaud Representative Meadows for introducing what I think is a very important uh, piece of legislation in a bipartisan manner. And um, I'm thankful that he cares enough and that he has a daughter who wrote a report. Um, this is, you know, these people who are trafficked live amongst us. In particular, they live in areas where there's lots of diversity, where there's lots of people going about doing their business in crowded areas a lot. They're trafficked, you're right. They're exploited for sexual purposes, um, about 70% of them. But the other 30% are, they're, they're used in homes and domestic servitude, not even getting sometimes to sleep in a bed of the very house where they're worked as a slave, you know, sleeping on the floor and getting the crumbs off the table. And we've seen that. We've seen that in Orange County, California, in one of the richest areas of the nation and one of the nicest homes. This was happening with a little Egyptian girl that was there and had been trafficked in by a family. And if it's not domestic and it's not sexual, then it's sweatshops where people literally have their passports and their papers taken away and they're working 18 or 19 hours a day and not being paid and barely being fed. And so they're all around us. Americans have to open up their eyes. We have to see it in our neighborhoods. And of course, we have to stop them as they bring them from other countries. And that's why I believe that our nation's screeners and our customs officers serve as the eyes and the ears on the front line of our ports of entry and exit from the United States. If they are properly trained, then they will see it and they can help stop it. Um, lastly, we're grateful that tonight we've had a series of bills with respect to human trafficking. I just want to remind my colleagues that this humanitarian crisis we see on our southern border, that many of those children also have faced what we are talking about tonight. And in order to stop it, we have to be as generous as possible with those young people to restart their lives. And with that, Mr. Speaker, I ask my colleagues to say yes to this bill, and I yield back the balance of my time.